Everybody, yo, BGS here. I'm trying something new and I'm actually kind of stuck here. Let me show you. All right, I can set the microphone down here. This seemed like a good idea, but uh, as you can tell, I got sort of stuck on the table and all that good chord management there. So let me put that back down. All right, one second. Well, there we go. And apparently that is the price you pay for not starting out a video by saying, what's up everybody. But I mean, I do hope you're doing well. Yo BGS here. And we are on the second episode in two weeks now. Dude, that's like a record for me for Let's Speed Run. Today, we're looking at one of my all time favorite games, a game that I've played a ton and speed run a lot, Mega Man X. Now this is gonna be a little different from Mario where we looked at the fastest way through the game. Today we're doing the 100% category of Mega Man X. And you might be wondering, why do I do this? Well, because I want as many people to get into speedrunning as possible, and I want you to find out that it's not exactly as hard as it seems. Now, there's a whole lot to remember, and I'm gonna explain a whole lot over the course of this run, which is gonna be, like the title said, under 45 minutes. Uh, but there will be some cuts. It's not gonna be that long. You won't have to waste your whole lunch break on it, I promise. I'm gonna go ahead and without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, I really kind of missed the camera up there a little bit. I had to take a second to kind of get everything straightened out, but we're greeted with the menu screen here. If you've played Mega Man X, you're familiar with it. Now, one big thing you're gonna wanna do before you start the run, and that is go into options. Trust me here, put dash on R and select right on X because we're gonna be doing a lot of dashing over the course of this run. It's a very dashing run. Bad pun, I know. But we're gonna be doing a lot of dashing over the course of the run and having it on the shoulder button here. Can show you on the controller because I'm prepared. This is totally the first take. But having your finger up here on the R button instead of having to do this weird claw move onto the A button, it ends up working out a lot better for you, especially if you're a little bit older like I am. Now, where do you start the run? You start it right from the main menu screen. We're gonna get going here. There you go, let's start the run on the intro stage. And since I've got the controller here, I can go ahead and show you why you shoot. You can hold that down to charge, B is jump, and then R is gonna be your dash button. Of course, the arrows move. You gotta mash really fast there to get through that first guy. I'll hang out with you through the intro stage. Now, you can see there's a lot of precise, like, shooting here, taking those dudes out, mashing to get through these big blue guys. Mash as hard as you can. I missed him by one shot. That means we're gonna have a little bit of trouble coming up here. The bees, not your Nicolas Cage bees, but the big bees here. All we do to get by them is you just walk to the other side, shoot them in the back a bunch and they'll fall down. Now, if you're trying this for the first time, don't be annoyed if you get killed. Sometimes the bees can be really stubborn and just sort of sit in place and if they do, you'll die, but good news is you're right back at the beginning and you know it's easy to start over again. So I've got two health here. That's actually a good thing. You might be wondering why you're almost dead. You know, aren't you worried? No, and you'll see why the two health is a good thing coming up in a little bit. You gotta worry about these wasps here. Try and jump on the end of the platforms if you can. It stops them from falling. Falling is slow. And then that's another thing that's a lot of this game is taking some stuff out so that the game doesn't lag as much. See, that's what I love about speedrunning is you can say all these fancy things like reducing lag and stuff like that. And while they do help, you know, you're still gonna beat the game in about the same time unless you're trying to chase a, a world record time. We've got the world record time down there. Walrus Prime, a cool dude. He's actually stopped by my stream a couple times to just wish me luck. And you know, if you start running the game, he might, uh, he might send you some good wishes as well. Now, take out two of these cars here. That's a little unfortunate because if one of them hits you, it'll kill you. You're gonna wait for the entire airship to move over. That's why you typically wanna blow up the second car underneath the purple there. Vile's gonna come down. You can't win this fight, sorry. So that's why we wanna have three or less health here because if you do, then he just grabs you, you move on, and it's that simple. We're gonna watch some cutscenes here. I'll be back when we get to Chill Penguin stage. All right, now we're gonna actually start the levels here. We're fighting Chill Penguin first because we're gonna get those dash boots I was telling you about. We're gonna be using R quite a bit here. By the way, for those cutscenes that I just skipped through the magic of editing, uh, hit hold the start button, they'll go faster. So charge up here, you wanna save the gold shots to take out those uh, the bots, the little lumberjack guys, cause they'll hit stuff into you otherwise. 
Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. It's not a perfect run, but you know what? I'm gonna beat the game less than 45 minutes So that's kind of a cool thing especially since I know you know how long it took to beat this game growing up But basically just shooting some stuff here uh, There's some cool jump movement here I'll show you this real quick then we'll get the boots and things will start going a lot faster So you grab onto the ledge you shoot the guys you're gonna jump early get that guy on top to spawn if you're walking downhill Mega Man jumps higher kind of just a cool thing you got going on there take the climb we're gonna see doctor I was gonna say doctor X and we're gonna see doctor who obviously I know Mega Man hold start here and it goes through the text a lot quicker get the dash boots do some dashing and then uh, we might jump to chill penguin it's just a lot of movement and you know shooting stuff as you dash and I think it can kind of get a little bit boring a little bit slow so we'll pick it up at uh, chill penguin after I show you how to dash here there you go and you're gonna want to dash dash jump as much as possible I just kind of damage boost through here pretty easy to do all right it is time for the first boss chill penguin and we're less than five minutes into the run I just love how it looks a lot different from when you played it as a kid now chill penguin you want to get him with the charge shots you want to get him with some dash shots if you can that's a big thing you may not have known dashing and shooting in this game does more damage than standing or walking and shooting so you try and do dash shots whenever possible if you see me looking a little bit off screen here it's because I'm looking at the the footage of my run from earlier and it's like slightly below the camera got a really good fight here he's just you know floating around a bit I'm gonna do a dash and then a jump you want to end every stage as close to the middle as you can that way when X does his running you know he is as close to the middle as possible you waste as little time as possible that's one of the like bigger just general speed running things that you don't really think about I know when I started speed running one of the big things I didn't think about was how you want to avoid enemies whenever possible I played these games I would try and shoot everything it took me forever I died all the time and yeah going around them uh, can be a lot quicker sometimes we're gonna go to storm eagle stage next and I make a pretty silly mistake here if you beat my time this is gonna be one of the reasons why because I waste about a minute goofing around so cool little trick there uh, you can jump on the platform as it's going up if that seems a little tricky for you don't worry about it dash jump off the platform there you're gonna pick up the heart easy peasy a little more health so yeah you go up the platform here and if you can't do that just wait for the next one to come around it's a couple seconds difference it's not gonna kill your run one way or the other you can also wait for the one platform to go all the way up to the top there uh, you're gonna take out this guy because you need to ride the platform up to grab a sub tank you know because we're doing 100% so you got to get everything and that's gonna include the Hadouken at the end of the game you'll see what that's all about in a little bit especially if you've never seen it before it's kind of a cool thing uh, jump over these platforms it's I got a little bit messy here there's uh, some of those guys the flamethrower guys won't exactly spawn in that spot every time and get a little fancy there and take some damage now uh, I'm used to the randomizer for this game and for the randomizer you have to blow those tanks up to get to the helmet upgrade so don't do that that was silly that wasted time and uh, that's how you're gonna beat me um, you can use ice to shoot fire that's a pretty cool thing grab the helmet upgrade here which is gonna let you bonk some stuff in the next stage and then the rest of this level really straightforward just gonna go up to the top over to the end and pretty soon we will be at Storm Eagle now if you jump over to the right there and you go down you can skip going through that door again skipping going through the door is a little bit quicker saves a little bit of time and that is like one of the big things about speedrunning is save a little time in a lot of places and then all of a sudden you go really fast remember those dash shots I mentioned earlier look here they're doing they're doing big damage to our boy storm eagle here dash 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 and then you try and get the dash shots as he floats around this is a bad pattern sometimes he'll just sit there and let you shoot him all the way but the dashes or the the, the dives rather you can get shots in on him just a little bit slower that's part of the reason that you're gonna be able to uh, pick up some time on me he decided to play nice here we'll get the final dash shots in and that is gonna do it for Storm Eagle and I'm dude I'm pumped today I'm loving getting to share this run with you I know it's uh, not the fastest in the world like I said you can see below me what Walrus Prime's world record time is but still being able to beat a hundred percent of a Mega Man game 
in less than an hour man I, dude i love that so another menu screen skip through that and now flame mammoth that's what we're gonna do next if you want to get really serious about this by the way you play on a japanese version the japanese emulator japanese rom um because the text is a little bit quicker i do that because again i like to pretend like i'm a, a bigger speed runner than i actually am take the top route here by the way a little bit quicker and then go underneath we beat penguin so mammoth stage is gonna be frozen over here's why we needed both the boots and the helmet you ready for this it's a dash jump I missed it cuz I always do and then you bonk off the wall and it is just a matter of jumping 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 until eventually you get up there now gonna get the buster upgrade which will immediately use to do a trick that looks really cool but I'll explain the alternate way to do it right now so if you can't get this jump, don't worry. All you need to do if you can't get this jump is go all the way to the end, climb up, and then back over, and you can do this just fine. But yeah, check this out. Not this, because I screw it up. Um, it's gonna take me a second here because that's always the case. You jump, you get hit, don't worry about that. All right, take that guy out, he's a jerk. Okay, so drop the charged ice shot there, and then you can jump up the wall, like I said. Uh, you'll see after I get the sub tank here why that's not necessary you can go up to that platform I don't know why I'm pointing like you can see my monitor but you can go up to that platform jump over and then you'll be good to go and again uh, dashing whenever possible dash jumps whenever possible I'm bonking into enemies because I'm not a great speedrunner but here we go uh, you go you go ahead and do the climb here another row of these guys you just dash jump past no big deal and then we will get to the bottom, which looks really cool. All right, so you wanna do dash jumps over these things. Charge up an ice shot, because if you do it exactly right, you can kill that guy, which is sort of neat. Now get a tornado ready, because we're gonna drop some F5s. We're gonna go Bill Paxton, twister mode on a Flame Mammoth here. I am holding on to my desk. Like, it is the last thing saving me from floating off the planet right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Can tell that I'm nervous, my voice isn't exactly breaking, but let go of the charged tornado. Now, Flame Mammoth is really cool. You can get two shots on him pretty much every time. Sometimes he'll just sit there and cheer for you. Uh, there's another two. That one was only one, that's bad, and then you try and get to the middle of the stage. Bingo, bango, bongo, he's gonna die, and then we will move on. So we go to Boomer Kawanger's stage now, and the reason we do this isn't because of Iceless. That's an impossible trick that I'll point out later and probably use a clip from someone better than me. Um, but because we need Boomer's weapon for some other things so that we don't have to do as many revisits later on. This is a really vertical stage. It's just a lot of jumping type stuff that I'm not very good at as evidenced by this part. There we go. Okay, I got the trick. So I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit because it's a lot of climbing, a lot of dashing, and just a lot of running in a straight line. Something I realized I didn't mention earlier. I'm getting really good at that. Um, so you may have to go back and watch this two or three times. Boy, that would be bad. Is that the tornadoes are very good at taking out enemies. So if you're playing along with me, you may have noticed there are some turtles there. Use the tornadoes on the turtles. It'll save you a whole lot of time. You get through these platforms, no big deal. We got another vertical climbing-y section um, that can really troll you sometimes. These platforms that come out of the side can be pretty difficult. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, climb up them without a whole lot of difficulty. And then once I get up to the top, I'll show you the spot that Iceless can be a thing. Oh boy, missing shots today. Um, but once you get up to the top, you'll see the spot where Iceless can be a thing if you are good enough. And I probably just showed the video down here of someone doing Iceless. Because up, what you're going to see is me doing Ice Full. And of course, I miss it the first time. Gotta miss it the first time. But... Uh, you charge up an ice car, it goes off the edge, you jump back, you get the heart piece. It's that simple. See, you don't have to do every fancy trick to to do a speed run or be a speed run or submit a run, any of that stuff. You can just, you know, play the game. Have fun with it. We're going to get to the top of this tower. We'll take on Boomer. All right, if you saw that cut, you know that my problem was I lost a lot of health there, which is sort of why I edited it out. But the timer jumped because the timer is always running. Now hit Boomer with a charge shot. You're going to want to launch a lot of dash lemons at him. Uh, there's another kind of fancy strat you can do if he tries to grab you. You can do like dash jumps away from him and he'll stay in place and keep trying to grab you. Otherwise, he can get a little unpredictable. I stand in the middle 
because if you have at least a green shot, when he teleports to you and you hit him, he'll bounce back far enough that he won't teleport into you. But just like that, with a bunch of green shots, we got Boomer down. Going to be moving on now to Mandrill's stage. All right, at Mandrill's stage, you're going to see those tornadoes come back. Big time usage here because the way they work is they'll take out these blue guys pretty quickly. I immediately scroll to them. You don't have to hit the pause menu to change weapons, by the way. You can do that with L and X. We set that at the beginning. You go to the boomerang there, you jump, and as long as you're on the way down when you let the boomerang go, you'll be able to take them out. Now, uh, turn up the brightness on your TV. It'll make these dark rooms go a little bit easier. I didn't do that on my flat screen, so this is gonna be a little bit rough. We'll pick things up with the mini boss. Just use the tornadoes to get through here. All right, charge up a tornado before you go to the mini boss. Here's why, because you charge up a tornado, you hit him with that. It's usually two more tornadoes. I don't know what I'm doing here. I apparently forgot how to play video games, but a couple regular tornadoes and that big charge one, that guy goes down easy. You, you've already beaten, um, you already beat Eagle, so he can't do some of his bigger moves. Now this is a cool area for movement, using the tornadoes to get through. I'll go ahead and hang out here for a second so you can see. Yeah, the tornadoes are kind of OP. Also, there's a heart piece you're gonna need to pick up here. Uh, don't worry if it takes you a little while to get it. It can be kind of finicky. See, yeah, yeah, even I, dude, Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. I actually switched to fire here. I mean, I get the heart piece because, you know, it's 100%, but sometimes I get it first try, sometimes I don't. Uh, tornadoes are going to be your friend through this last little dark section, but you'll see if you are off on the timing just a little bit like I am, you're gonna get punched two or three times up and over. Ice is going to be your key weapon here against Mandrill who, you know, it's funny, the stages themselves are the tricky part of these runs. The the boss fights, because you know the weaknesses and, and their patterns and stuff, the boss fights are actually pretty trivial. Um, I'm gonna shoot into the wall in case he jumps just like that. And now it's just a little bit of back and forth. Before you know it, you've taken him out. Now, if you watch the full run again, you might notice when you freeze him, just as he unfreezes, you can hit him with another ice shot that won't freeze him, but it will do damage. Uh, and that's just kind of one of the, again, smaller like tricks you can do that'll save you a couple seconds. That's the big thing I've noticed in this run. A couple seconds here, a couple seconds there is what makes all the difference. So don't worry if you don't get those right away. By the way, we're going to Armadillo stage, but don't worry if you don't get the all of the optimizations right away, right? You know, you set your first time at maybe an hour plus. That's cool, whatever. Uh, but then when you go back, you'll see a minute save, two minutes save, five minutes save. It's such, that's one of the cool parts about running a longer-ish game like this. It's like 45 minutes. Is when you first get started, you see the time come off, I mean, super fast. Now, skipped the sub tank there because we don't really need it just yet. We're gonna be coming back to this stage later for the excuse me for the Hadouken all right get some jumps here this is another level where you can really practice kind of maxing out your your dashing your jumping your avoiding enemies which I don't do another pink shot there you get back on the car and you ride through the level a little bit more pick this up as we get closer to the end actually I lied I need to tell you about one thing here if you can't do this where you slide down the ledge and go by him. Check this out, by the way. Switch to boomerang, one jump off the wall, shoot it. Boomerang will bring, bring you the heart piece just like that. If you can't get out in front of that car like that, what you wanna do is drop behind it, get the fire out, and just follow it with the fire. You'll take it out in a few seconds, and then you'll still be able to get the heart piece, all that good stuff. Make sure when you're here, you see that help. I don't know if you saw it there, but make sure you see the health at the top of the mountain. That is going to be very important for getting the Hadouken later. Charge up electricity and pray that Armadillo doesn't bounce all over the universe. Let's see what he did in the run here. I, my timer is red. I dislike that. Because I'm not doing my normal splits the way I would. And because of that, everything always looks slow. You shoot him once with the regular electricity. His shell comes off. Shoot, jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump. And then you're pretty much close to the end. There's a cool thing you can do. I don't know if it's just in the Japanese version, but uh, right on the last frame, you if you're mashing start, you can skip 
it'll fade to black instead of playing all this music. It messes up the music for the rest of the game, so obviously I didn't want to do it for the video. Um, and I don't think it saves that much time, but it's just a goofy little thing that you can do. We are gonna go to Launch Octopus' stage very much way easier than I used to make it out to be. I don't know, it's just it's one of those ones, you'll see it if you run a lot of games. It, it, there are stages that get stuck in your head and you always lose time there and you always screw up and you don't know why. That was the case with me. Switch to Tornado here. If you're wondering why we do Octopus' stage now, by the way, it's because it will make getting a heart piece in the last level a little bit easier. All right, use a handful of rolling shields on this first guy because that's what he's weak to. Um, fancy speedrunners can manipulate that. I'm going to pause here just to get back to the buster and mash my way through the rest of this fight. If you're feeling nervous about some of the final boss stages later on, grab the health. You're going to see plenty of health throughout the run. You grab it, fill up those sub tanks. Dude, it makes the last few fights easy peasy. Now, this guy, this guy doesn't like electricity. Who'd have thought? Electricity, water, they don't mix. So you shoot him with the electricity, you grab the health there, and now you're going to want to charge tornadoes. I'm going to show you how to fail at something fancy here. You can blow this little fish car up from underneath it, except I didn't go far enough to the right. So jump up to the top. Now, no shame in this. You shoot a tornado there. That'll drop that down. Why? Well, because there's a heart piece down there. Now charge up a tornado. You're going to love this. If you were frustrated against this enemy before, you will love this this charge up a tornado you drop it on his head he's gonna die climb up the wall a little bit to reduce some lag boomerang for swag the heart piece is broken but we pick it up anyway don't die on the spikes now you want to kill a mini boss without even seeing it charge up another tornado i got you covered here when you jump over look at this big rock on the ground release the tornado there you kill the guy when he's underground and just like that we are at launch octopus that seems crazy because it throws a lot of bullets at you. It does a lot of nonsense, but it's very much easy, especially since you've got the rolling shield. I should have brought like a water or something in here. I don't know why the water stage is making me thirsty. Maybe it's just because Octopus is handsome, but he's going to shoot those at you to open up and then you just use the rolling shield where you can. Bank it off the wall if you want. You're healthy at this point. You are a healthy boy, so you can tank a lot of damage. Just don't get caught in the cyclone. Use your dashes to get around it and you'll be fine you see you just launch some at him and you're good to go all right sting chameleon the last stage before we have one revisit and then it's off to the final stages i'm congratulate you if you've stuck with the video for this long i've been trying to find spots i can cut out but i have a tendency to babble now charge shots here same as in the first level where we had to fight with these guys or you can just jump right over them uh, switch to the boomerang. This part is entirely up to you. You can hit this guy with 18 boomerangs. If you do, you're going to be low on ammo for the boss. I'm going to hit him with 18. You got to hit him at a little bit of a rhythm because he does have invincibility after every shot. Um, you want to make sure you actually hit him. So you hit him here with a bunch of the shots, and that'll get you close to the end. Then you use some of those dash shots we talked about earlier. Um, I think I actually missed with a couple of them. I hit him during his invincibility, so it's taken a little while here again. Less than perfect, but that's more of an opportunity for you to kick my butt. So you get the health cap or health capsule, excuse me. Um, you get the body armor here, which is gonna be good. Dude, the first time I played this game, I fought that guy for like an hour. I just didn't I didn't know how to damage him, and I kept shot shooting him in the body. Alright. Once these things go away, we're gonna go down to the bottom. Okay, down at the bottom, you break a couple of these blocks. One dash jump. If you're good, you can boomerang the heart to you. I missed it, but nothing wrong there. It's filled with water, so it's fine. Run through this part, and we're going to pick it up as we get closer to the end because this stage is really just a run to the end kind of vibe. Coming up here, you need to grab this extra life. That is important. That's going to be necessary to get the Hadouken, especially if you've died during the run or you haven't picked up an extra life anywhere else. I'm going to try and grab a little bit of health here. Normally, I get in the little the ride car, but I was trying to be fancy. Wanted to impress you. Um, and, yeah, you want to get in the ride car if you can because you won't take damage from those little guys and you can pick up health, possibly fill up a sub tank. Get the boomerang cutter out here. We're going to make this a much easier fight than it seems like it should be. And I actually kind of really like that fact that we can just sort of bop our way through here uh, because chameleon can be annoying especially if you just have the buster 
But you'll see, there's a rhythm here. You gotta juggle him. You go boom, and then you turn, and you shoot, and you turn, and you shoot. Because we used the 18 boomerangs earlier, we don't have enough ammo to kill him, but we do have enough ammo to get him down to the end. I like to switch to ice shots. They bank off the wall. He's done. Now, we could go to Wily stages after this, but we're gonna go back to Penguin. All right, here's the thing about Penguin stage. Because we beat Chameleon, we have Charged Chameleon, which is literally just invincibility. So charge that up, run through the stage as you would. When it runs out, charge it up again. I'll catch you when we get to the thing that we need. Once you get back to the ride car, you're gonna go up to the top and switch to fire. Blow this thing up, there's a heart piece in there, pick it up. Now we need to go to Armadillo stage one more time. Well, we're gonna be doing it four more times. You'll see why here in just a second. All right, back in Armadillo stage on the car, we're gonna go to uh, the very beginning of the level here. Excuse me, I just happened to run into everything. Charge up a chameleon and drop down. Use it, go through that guy, grab the last sub tank. You, your health should look like this. You should have four sub tanks now, and we're gonna run to the end. And you'll find out why at the end, we are back here once again. Again, don't be worried, you know, use the invincibility wherever you can to just go through stuff. It'll make it go really quick. Uh, you should pick up some health along the way, which can help fill up those sub tanks. Certainly nothing we're gonna be disappointed in. I'm at the last car on the end again because we need to go through this a few more times. You're gonna have to basically go through the stage every time you get to the end and make this jump here. You're gonna see that health and then fall into the pit. I know, it seems annoying. On your fifth time through the stage, assuming you've got 100% of everything at this point, don't get hit because you need full health to get the Hadouken, which I'm gonna show you again. Just go through the level, die at the end, do that enough. If you've got everything, you will see this capsule at the end. All right, this is the last time through. We're gonna go see the health one more time, except we should see a capsule up there that says that we've done everything. And if you look, you'll see Dr. Light. There's the capsule. Dr. Light's gonna be dressed up like Ryu. I love that. So he's just gonna tell you to get in the capsule. You do. You won't see anything visibly change about Mega Man. When he gets off, he's gonna let the cutest noise out that you've ever heard. There you go. Go ahead and exit the stage. You don't need to go to the end. Now it is time for the Wily stages, and we are in the last little bit of this run here. It's kind of nice, uh, even though it's gonna look a little bit bad. We get a cutscene here. Uh, start charging up the invincibility, although, you're gonna want to make sure you bonk into everything here. Oh man, we're just gonna we're gonna look like we're bad at video games here. We're gonna hit everything, uh, and once we get to these platforms, we're gonna do a little bit of a skip if you're feeling if you're feeling kind of froggy this run. So, you get up to this third platform here. Instead of doing the whole platform puzzle, you can just bounce up the side of the hill here. You're gonna have to take a bunch of damage. You're gonna want to get down to six health or less because that'll help you for this part coming up. If you stand in this corner and hold right, you can lose health quicker. See, even speedrunning, you know how to lose fast. Now, climb up these ladders. We're gonna do a cutscene skip. It's pretty cool. I'll show you what to do here. When you get to this ladder on the top, jump, let go, and then when you jump up again, it'll let you grab the side and bounce off. Pretend the floor is lava, and you will skip a whole cutscene up there. Now, make sure that text box is going away, go through the door, and you should be fine for the fight. That's why everything looked a little bit weird there, because we kind of skipped a whole thing we were supposed to see. Vile's gonna win again. We're gonna see another cutscene again, because that's what you gotta do. All right, now get ready. We are gonna throw the Hadouken Fireball, which I probably should have explained a little bit sooner, but I'll go back to my, my visual aid here. You wanna do it just like a regular Fireball, where it's the down, you know, the down to right motion, that quarter circle forward, and then Y. But unlike in the actual game, instead of quarter circle forward Y, there's like a little pause, so you roll Y, roll Y, and that will work. It, it's better to do it slower than faster. If you've played a lot of Street Fighter, it's really counterintuitive, but um, I think it was uh, like Looking Toad might have been the one who explained that to me. And once they did, I really understood like how to how to do that part. Now, Charge Chameleon, get through here. Here's the other big thing about the Hadouken. It only works if you have full health. So you got to be really careful because it's going to one-shot almost everything the entire rest of the game. 
I'm gonna climb up here, no big deal. We've still got the invincibility and we're gonna see a refight. The nice part about refights though is they go really quick when you got the Hadouken, so get ready here. We got Bad Boomer, he's gonna teleport back into the room. You quarter circle forward Y and you're good to go. That was actually a little bit of a slow. Uh, a lot of these are just run through the level, use Charge Chameleon and the invincibility to, you know, not have to worry about getting hit. Sort of a nice thing to have. All right, we bop through here. Then we're going to get to Bow Spider. Bow Spider is just a little bit of a test. How well can you connect the lines? I feel like this would be like a good bad ad for a mobile game. It seems like something people would be interested in. Charge up a pink shot here in case Bow Spider throws some babies at you. Because again, any damage kills the Hadouken. I'm gonna go over here, throw one, one hit, he's done. Well, I guess she, because it spits at you. Anyway, uh, Bow Spider's done. The first, wow, the first Sigma stage. Duh, the first Sigma stage is done. I keep getting Sigma and Wily and everybody confused. But yeah, Sigma one is Sigma done, and we're gonna move on to Sigma two. By now, you know the drill. You charge up some Sting Chameleon and get ready to make some jumps. I gambled a little bit here because I felt like the run was sort of bad. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but see, Charge Chameleon, you just run through everything. I actually got through there because I thought I was on a good run. I didn't know what was waiting for me in the rest of the run. Unfortunately, nothing very good. Penguin's gonna throw four at you, then you do the Hadouken, and he's done. This next part's really easy. You just get in the ride car, you're gonna go to the end, and then I will pop back in when you charge up a chameleon shot. All right, you made it to the end, you blew up the mech, now you charge up a chameleon shot, Erico. Yeah, you charge a chameleon shot here, that way, when you climb up, you don't get hit by any of those errant bullets. Get ready for Storm Eagle, who is not a hard refight, but it can be hard to get that Hadouken off, and you'll see why. There's, if you dash forward a little bit and he stops without flying up, eh, see, I, I hit it too soon. Now I'm missing Hado's left and right. I did hit him there. Um, if you can't get the Hadouken here, don't worry. You can kill him with charged Sting Chameleon and he dies pretty quick. Look at that. Sometimes better to be lucky than good. And that's the case there. Now we got one little quick climbing section. Just charge up a Chameleon and you'll be good to go. I'll meet you at the top. All right, get ready for another boss here. We got uh, pretty cool fight if the eyes try to attack you it's pretty easy so we got this first one here it's gonna come down Hadouken that was pretty easy I waited here because the blue eyes and the red eyes can come at you the green eyes won't uh, and it got clear to me that the red eyes were not gonna come at me so I might as well just try and beat the boss stick to the wall the floor is spikes the floor will kill you try and get the eyes done before you attack the before you kill the body because the body can be really difficult. Once you get those last few shots in on it, spikes disappear, you fall to the floor, we're ready for Sigma 3. All right, Sigma 3, there's a really cool trick you can do at the beginning where you charge up a tornado, you jump to this platform, and if you charge up an ice shot and the camera doesn't scroll up, see, I went too far forward. You can skip this boss fight altogether. I might be able to show you down below another easy way to do that, but, Good news is Armadillo's a pretty easy fight. We've got the Hadouken. Hopefully you practiced it by now. He's just gonna bounce around a little bit. As soon as he comes out, you hit him with a fireball, you're good to go. There's gonna be a lot of skips in this stage because it's really basic levels. Like just charge up Chameleon and walk through. Okay, Chameleon has a really hard strategy for the Hadouken. So I'm just gonna switch back to the cutter, do the juggle we did earlier because I've got full ammo. That's gonna be no problem. So we'll just juggle him a little bit. You'll see some of the one and the back and forth. Don't get hit by the spikes. I've lost runs to one spike falling down and me sitting right on it. It's not uh, not a good time, but there you go. A little bit of juggling, pretty simple. Then there's another quick little thing and we will take on our dude Mandrill again. All right, Mandrill's got another little bit of a tricky thing. Cause remember he can jump at the beginning so what we're gonna do is the same thing we did in that vanilla fight. We're gonna freeze him, just like this. There you go, hit him with the freeze, switch back to the buster, throw a fireball, and you move on a little bit more. Now, this underwater part's a little bit tricky. I recommend going with the tornadoes. You'll just be able to tornado your way through. I'll catch you at Octopus. All right, now charge up a buster here before Octopus. I have this in my run as don't blow it, and you'll see why. Because you're gonna let the pink shot go, so that it destroys the tornadoes that are trying to come through. 
and then you launch the hot up, but you gotta wait, 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 go. And if you don't wait that long, you're just gonna shoot him with a plain buster shot, he'll attack again, and then you will be very, very disappointed. This next part, pretty easy. Charge up Chameleon, go up to the top, sprint through there, and then we've got Mammoth. By the way, if at any point you get hit and you wanna go back to using the Hadouken, use one of your sub tanks. You should have four of them, at least one of them should be full. I like to save one, by the way, dash to the right, fireball to the left, you're good to go. I like to save at least one for the final Sigma fight. You'll see why, because it can be really tricky. Now, not skipping ahead here because we've got D-Rex. It took me the entire Mega Man X randomizer tournament to know that this guy is called D-Rex. I just kept forgetting his name. He can be a little bit tricky. There's, again, another more skilled way to take him out. But usually I just wait and hope he goes diagonal. I threw the fireball too early there, that's disappointing. And then, for some reason, I forgot how to play Mega Man. So he's weak to the boomerang cutter, but you wouldn't know that to look at me. Apparently you'd think he's weak to my face, because I just try and smash my face into him 50 times. Actually had to use, embarrassingly, had to use a sub tank there. Still couldn't get the, the Hadouken wait for the cutter and then I finally remember what he's weak to and start trying to attack him with it bonk into him a few times yeah see this can happen to anybody this will probably happen on your run you'll probably lose a little bit of time you'll be like okay this doesn't look good whatever but it's fine like it happens to everyone and again your next time through did you get the Hadouken on this first try think of how much time you save there you go a few more cutters he's done now the final Sigma stage aka how consistently can you throw those Hadoukens? At the big long climb up to the top where you're praying that your run stays alive. At least if you're on a, a PB pace and you know it's kind of tight, you're praying your run stays alive here. You're gonna throw two fireballs. Hopefully you're down, you've got the motion down. You can always just load up a save and uh, practice that whenever you can, especially if you got like an emulator, just load a save state and, and try it out a bunch. Dog's gonna bounce over your head and back. You throw a fireball at it, you hit it in the bumsy, and you move on, just like that. This is a little bit tricky because Sigma can move quick and he is intimidating. If you can't land the Hotto here, you gotta kill him with electricity. It's a pretty long fight and I would not recommend it. So there you go, you throw the Hotto there. By the way, uh, during that climb up, if you charge up a rolling shield and just bounce off the wall a bunch, you can kill those little caterpillars until you fill up all of your sub tanks. It's a pretty guaranteed way to get through it. Now, Wolf Sigma, you're gonna climb the wall, you're gonna throw the rolling shields, you're gonna pray that you hit him because this is the fastest way to do this. So, watch out for the electricity blast there. You get up to the top, just gonna start launching some rolling shields at him and hope you don't get zapped too many times. Like that. See, that took a bunch of health away. All right, throwing more of the rolling shield, just back and forth. Uh, I tried going over the left side here because for some reason I don't like winning. There you go, you throw him. A little hard to see where you're at, but just bouncing off the wall and, and continuously hitting him is fine. I'm gonna take a safety sub tank here. Dying's no fun, nobody likes doing that. He's down to two and time. Time ends on the last hit of Wolf Sigma. He's gonna explode. We're gonna skip the text there and that is Mega Man X beaten in less than 45 minutes. If you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. That is incredible. Even if it took two or three times through to get here. But yeah, 44, 11, 11. That's not quite good for where my PB is. And if you looked at the leaderboard, it's, it's way down there. But hey, I say you don't compare it to you know, you don't compare a run to the person who's number one who's got 10,000 plays through. Why don't you compare the run to the person who's played it five times or beaten it, you know, twice, three times, once, however many times you have beaten it. Compare it to that. Don't compare it to the people who are the perfectionists at it. So yeah, you've still beaten Mega Man X in less than an hour. And if you do it faster than 4411, by all means, please let me know. I think that that's a really cool thing if you are able to do that I know I can. I may I may be back on stream here trying these pretty soon to redeem myself. I'm not sure exactly what game I'm gonna do next. I've got a few Super Nintendo titles in mind. I was thinking maybe uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, Turtles in Time. I was thinking about Super Punch-Out. So only time will tell. Let me know, by the way, you know, in the comments if you like some of these 
longish runs. I've got some Final Fantasies in mind, some Earthbounds in mind, but I wanted to see how uh, the consistent commentary worked out for you know 45 minute video before I went into like a six hour video. Yeah, and hopefully this wasn't too long. Like I said, my goal is not to take up your entire lunch break. Uh, it was certainly a very long trip to the bathroom if you watch YouTube videos in the bathroom, but that's okay. We'll keep uh, watching through the scroll here. And yeah, I'll be back next week because the good thing about these videos is I can get them out pretty consistently, you know, despite like my work um, and all that kind of stuff. Feel free to drop a like, drop a sub. I think I'm contractually obligated to tell you that, you know, 45 minutes into a video. So uh, that's pretty sweet as well. But I will see you next time here on YoBGS. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. And I look forward to playing some more games and helping you beat some of those childhood classics 